Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to be Wednesday, November 29th, 2023 Crosswords, and go for that 1370-day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini's always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, ZZZ, zip up, sales, Zoe, zoom, no? MBA, it's not right. Uh oh, call, Zoom call. I saw all the Z's at the top. I thought we'd have a Z theme, but alas, loose just chow. Probably after this should have gone for the crosses. Sugar maple, Picasso's blue period over there. Big fan of Toblerone, nice. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Ruth Bloomfield Margolin today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what our Ruth Bloomfield Margolin has in store for us on this Wednesday. Let's get into it. Places for light bites and corporate VIP, that's the CEO. Is it Annie? Like that's ever gonna happen. I think it's cafes across the top. Repeats, 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 echoes. Acronym whose E stands for engineering STEM. Tilts and grand coup, I think. Crew. Big name in printers and copiers. To get value from is use. Hall of Fame coach who purportedly said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. Tosses up as an easy question. Approves, okays. Paleontologist tool. Impudent, so sassy. I guess this is lobs or something. Make into legislation as an act. Talking point question mark. Maybe it's lips. Maybe not. Okra is a gumbo green. Thinking A or B. Hmm. On the something. Fat chance there. Art Spiegelman's Pulitzer Prize winning graphic novels. Mouse. This is a brush. This is Lombardi. All right. Desi Arnaz loved Lucy. Nice clue there. I love Lucy. Awakens comes to. Have tired muscles is ache, tolerate is abide. Blank island, which is actually a peninsula. Two ones on horn is boast, indeed, tis. Modern term for the psychological exhaustion showcased in this puzzle's theme. Decision paralysis? Fatigue, I think, okay. A little emotional say. This is Ema Sumac, running on fumes. Droid is deft. Readers of the Book of the Dead are Egyptians. Matter, matter of debate, maybe it's issue. In myth they allure, but on the street they alert sirens. Kind of a nice clue. Peak. Letters for debtors is IOU. Bread for patty malt is rye. Thai is spoken along the Mekong. Thinking A, B, maybe even C. Well, this is IOU. Something about the air. Carpet measurement is probably area. Titanic award is an Oscar. Cash only? Hey, gotcha. Emergency signal is a flare. It's see here. Teary in accordance with his as per. Hip hop article is the. Iconic logo and athletic apparel is a Nike swoosh. Get your yayas out. It's gonna have to wait. Ben Miller's divine nickname. What might help wrap up a gift? It's a bow or a bow. Uno. Airports are by Bart. Bart is SFO. I'm busy. Target things on the internet are ads. Twice 32 down is dose. Window blind almost or slats. Hey, Katya. Still don't know it. Superconductors. Maestri. Interesting. SST is a supersonic transport. Bad impression. It's a dent. Spots for polish. It must be nails. Man of his word. Ew, could be like UG. I am pay. The architect for the National Gallery. This is Gelt up in the air. This is a rest. Zaps in a way. It could be laces or tases. Uh, of two minds. I see Miss M. This could be Ryko Deus here. <laughs> On the fence. Can'ts. Okay, interesting. Wishy washy. Visitors to Niagara Falls are often in. Aw, I don't know where the O came from. 
Coney Island. And eyes. People really use raisins for the eyes of a snowman? Alright. Normal Wednesday time, I think. We'll see in a second. But we've got a bunch of decision fatigue. I like the phrase. And like there's sort of a story going on, but it's not a very interesting story. Thinking A or B. It's like not even. It doesn't even say what A or B is, are. Thinking A or B. Thinking A, no B, no A. Thinking A, but also thinking B. Thinking A, B, maybe even C. It's not, just not very interesting, I don't think. It also feels like, you know, the first three things are things that the decision maker could be. If you have decision fatigue, you, could, you might be on the fence, you might be wishy-washy, you might be up two minds. But the decision is the thing that's up in the air, not the decision maker. Yeah, it's a lot of theme material. Four 11s and a 15. It's 59 squares, but to me it doesn't quite hit. You know, it's basically just four phrases that are related to not being able to make a decision. But the cluing angle, you know, is sort of interesting, but not that great. And, you know, this isn't really revealing anything. It's a nice phrase, though. Um, yeah, I don't think I quite get it, maybe. It's not a bad puzzle, but I sort of just saw it as a themeless in the end. This would be a great answer in a themeless puzzle, so I guess <laughs> on those merits it's pretty good. Um, I did mention several times I liked the cluing around here though, so let's let's take a look through this thing. We've got a pretty French start here. Yeah, mouse. It's kind of like uh it's an allegory for or, is it, or maybe it's more than an allegory for the Holocaust with with mice, right? I feel like I'm, I've seen I've my brother read it and was he was like an artist, so you know, he likes art. I don't, I've never read it. I've never read the graphic novel. Aerolingus, that's classic crossword ease, just convenient letters. And you know, if you need an A and an E, there's not so many ways to end it. Ema Sumac also can get you out of some binds there. As per is okay. Maestri, I guess this is the Italian pluralization. Which you don't see too often. Fat chance is nice. I like the use of the uh, caps, lowercase, and then subscript here. That's very evocative. I wonder how easy that is to do. Like, I wonder how this looks, say, in a cross light or something. Uh, can't is a tilt. Lombardi is, of course, the plural of Lombardo. <laughs> yeah, I like this clue. You know, I love Lucy fame. Miss M. A lot of consonants there. Yeah, I feel like Wednesdays are always in sort of an awkward spot in terms of their theme, because they don't want to be too straightforward, they don't want to be too tricky. You know, really straightforward, you just go Monday or Tuesday, really tricky, you go Thursday, Wednesday, somewhere in the middle. And right, so like the, the cluing here is like this kind of story of someone making a decision, but essentially I just did it off crosses anyway. Let's take a look at some stats. Let's hope today it doesn't say that I have a zero solve time. This is genuinely kind of upsetting, throwing off stats like this. I wish in XW stats you could manually change some of the numbers and you get like an asterisk that shows that you manually changed it or something. If you're concerned about, um, you know, foul play. It looks like we went under our average. 12.6 faster than my average Wednesday. 
it seems like it's playing a little fast for people. Let me know if you thought the same in the comments down below. Anyway, let's do a whole mess of other puzzles, starting with the telegraph plus word. Here's your spoiler alert. If you like to play along, pause the video, click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's like a British mini crossword meets wordle at the end. Shade of gray, maybe it's slate, splashy sound, flexible, it's lithe, detest, abhor, step, and nobleman, earls. This is Libra. This is other group of fish is a shoal. Groups of cattle are herds. So barrel, the gemstone. Yeah, it's given you E, R, and L. This really can't be a B, so it has to be here. You only have to figure out one letter. Kind on the wordle part. Again, I wonder if these get harder throughout the week or not. But my main interest is trying to learn British stuff. And unfortunately, there's no British stuff here to learn today. Let's move on to the telegraph code words, both tough and regular. Uh, and let's see if it loads. Not free to play, unfortunately, but hopefully, hopefully if you want to play, you, you, you can get an account. Um, or you can just watch me play. Surely this is an E, I guess. Weak maybe there. Wow, this is common also. This is very common. So R, I suppose. I think R is the most likely. And this is could be like a. Ooh, interesting. Maybe this is actually an O. This no no. Mayor maybe here then. That looks okay. Oh, marrow that works. Homely. Does that look okay? Maybe not. No. Let's see. I think this is Adam. Toe looks okay. I guess this is our I. India? Here's our U. Found it. Let's find our Q. Croquette. Comely. Okay. No. Comedy. <laughs> Caravan. Favorite spelled the British way. We got some Britishness here. Retinue, that's nice. Azure. This is Rouge. No, Rough. Duchess, Greens, Prism, Express, Reject or Reject. Brain, Barge, Ply, only one L. In the end, it was weak. All right, so fast code words tough. Because the vowels were kind of evident in this one. Let's move on to code words regular. See if it's any easier. It isn't always. Let's see. I mean, this has me thinking it's occur. I think we got to go occur here. Cupcakes? Is that exceed or something? A looks okay. A Ford here. Floor. Album. Pub. Cupcakes is looking good. Epic. There's our I. Uh, conjoin, I suppose, is what this is. Unique. There's our Q. Found the Q. Provident. Work top, awning, eggshell, origami, I like that word, duty, gazette. All right, quite a fast code words regular also, fast code words day to day. Um, and for our last trick, let's do the New York Times connections puzzle. Try to make four groups of four here. Let's see what we can see. You know, it's good to just read them all at once. Let's see if what you notice, like kitchen and bedrooms are both rooms, so is den, so is study. And nothing else can really be a room, so that looks good. I'll see atoll, which is like uh, 
coral reef island formation. I saw key island. Those look good. And then bar, like sandbar. So I guess that's like uh, land in the ocean. Land surrounded by water. Okay. Oh, we're doing this in order at the moment. And then, okay, I see jam, cram, stuff, and pack. And then counter bag, sprout, and dip. French dip. No. Bean sprout, bean dip, bean bag, and bean counter. There we go. Did it in order. Yellow, green, blue, purple. Heart, easiest to hardest. Nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.